Activities have resumed in major parts of the country with the back to school rush accelerating the process while applauding Kenyans for conducting themselves peacefully during the election young period. Business leaders led by the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry noted that the country cannot afford another sluggish nation building as has been witnessed as campaigns and elections picked. Normalcy has resumed after the elections with schools reopening Thursday and business activity picking again at least based on a spot check by KBC in Nairobi city center. The situation is replicated in other urban centers such as Mombasa, Kisumu, Nakuru with the back to school rush accelerating business activities. Despite this, the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry is calling on business operators to resume operations noting that the country cannot afford another sluggish nation building as has been witnessed over the last two weeks during the electioneering period. We therefore appeal to the citizens and the business community of Mombasa to resume their normal daily activities following the conclusion. They say business activity had slowed due to the effects of the Ukraine-Russia war, the COVID-19 pandemic and uncertainties surrounding the electioneering period. The officials have lauded Kenyans for conducting themselves peacefully during the electioneering period, noting that this has helped foster confidence among the investors. They are hopeful that the incoming administration would put in place policies that will support businesses to thrive. In a nutshell, what do you expect? We expect a government that involves us in the process of policy making that will spark growth and business within the region and the country at large. On ongoing infrastructural projects such as the Dongo Kundu Bypass Highway and the Special Economic Zone, they want the projects completed within the set timelines. We expect the incoming government, whichever it will be, after the final rounds of disputes and anything else is done, we expect the incoming government to be able to put policies in place that will be able to open up the environment for good business to thrive. We be expecting this government to ensure that Dongo Kundu, the Special Economic Zone, is working. We'd be expecting this government to ensure that the businesses that were suffering as a result of COVID or any other measures negative are, are, are being restored to work. They are also hopeful that the incoming administration would implement affordable tax regimes. Caroline Jenga, Full Prime Edition.